Let's look at some specific DNS settings that will make a change in your network. Coming up. You can configure your system DNS settings under the network DNS where you can specify your DNS server's IP address. You can even set it up to work over TLS which is a topic that I covered before. But let's look at the command line and let's look at two configurations that are important. So let's config system DNS. Now here you can set up the primary DNS server or the secondary DNS server. Let's just set the primary to be Google's DNS server. And two configurations that are important are the cache time to live and the cache size. So let's set the set DNS cache limit. That is the amount of records that can be saved on your cache. By default, it is 5,000, but you can set it up to a much higher number that depends on your needs, but I have found that 5,000 records are quite enough. The other configuration that you need to look for is the set DNS time to leave. Now the time to leave is the amount of time that the DNS record is saved in your cache. That is the DNS response that you've got back. Now it is being saved on your cache. It actually serves you faster since it comes from the cache, it is much faster, it doesn't need to go all the way to an authoritative server. The default, the default is 1800 seconds, which is 30 seconds. The maximum is about 86,000 seconds, which is one day. Now, uh, 30 minutes, as we said, is the default, but let's set it up to one hour, uh, 3,600 seconds, and let's end it. And now let's just refresh our page. And there we have that our primary DNS server is the Google's DNS server. The secondary is actually FortiGuard uh, servers. Now, one thing to note, if you for any reason need to clear your DNS cache, you can do it quickly using the Diag test application DNS proxy. Now, look at once you uh, press the enter button, you, you will see that you have different options. So just use number one and you will clear your DNS cache.